Round of 16 in the Europa League. One of the ties of the round, Ali Moreno, is Sevilla against West Ham. It's probably a tie that both wanted to avoid. But for West Ham, how tough a test is this against a side that knows how to win this competition? A very tough. Uh, we're talking about Sevilla. And, 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 and the reason that I think they become very difficult to beat in competitions like Europa League is one, they are happy to be in this competition. They know they dominate this competition. They're not, it's, it, they're not a, a sort of group that says, oh, man, we got to go play Europa League. What are we going to do now? We're so bored with this. No, no. For them is, look, this is a competition we dominate. This is a competition that we're good. This is where we feel our most comfortable, and we're going to go on and win this thing. It, so the mindset for Sevilla is about, we don't care who we line up against. We feel very comfortable in that, given this is our competition, this is where our, we are our very best, and we're going to go and win it. The other thing that I would suggest about Sevilla is that, in having the know-how, in having the experience, you have a sense of confidence when you step onto the field of certainty. You're not searching for anything. You know what this moment feels like, whereas a team like West Ham is just kind of getting to that point to try to feel and getting comfortable with success and expectations. Sevilla, within Europa League, they have expectations and they have met those expectations in the past. Do you think that, that Sevilla is underestimated by, whether it's West Ham supporters, English football fans, because they're not Real Madrid and they're not Barcelona? Absolutely. Absolutely. There, there is no doubt about that. There is a very insular feeling to the way that the Premier League and Premier League team think of La Liga and other teams around the world in that, well, if it's not Real Madrid and it's not Barcelona, maybe Atletico Madrid, it must not be good. And, and, well, we're West Ham. We're the Premier League. We are all mighty and powerful. And what happens is you go and play into continental Europe and you're sometimes surprised by the technical quality of the player and the fight of a team like Sevilla. Because here's another thing about Sevilla. Sevilla will match your fight. That same sort of back and forth that maybe West Ham would like to provide in this game, this matchup, and make it physical, Sevilla will like that. I say, oh, oh, you want to fight? We'll fight. But we also have the technical quality. And, and that's the part that I don't think West Ham or any other Premier League team should overlook a team like Sevilla. Uh, my sense is that at times, if it's not Real Madrid, if it's not Barcelona, if it's not Atletico Madrid, it must not be good. You better be careful with that. Because Villarreal was pretty good against Manchester United last season. That didn't quite work out for Manchester United. That didn't quite work out for Arsenal. So don't overlook these teams from La Liga thinking they have their limitations. They must not be all that good. Maybe they, Sevilla, look at West Ham, just like Villarreal maybe look at Manchester United, just like they look at Arsenal and say, they have their limitations. They have their issues. We are going to win this competition. Well, goals are one of their issues right now. Mikel Antonio seems to be struggling in front of goal, given his recent record. Jared Bowen picked up that knock, so he could be a doubt for the next few games as well. So where do West Ham's goals come from? And do they have to score at Sanchez P1? Just like West Ham is struggling to score goals, I can also tell you uh, Sevilla is struggling to score goals. Mm -hmm. And that is part of the reason as to why they haven't been able to fully put pressure on Real Madrid. They've had ample opportunities to put that pressure on Real Madrid. And to, while Real Madrid were struggling in the early part of 2022, there were moments in which Sevilla could have really taken that pressure up to Real Madrid and they haven't been able to do so. And the reason is because they don't score enough goals. So they bring Anthony Martial thinking that he would be the solution. He gets injured. Papu Gomez, who was playing better, he gets injured. And so now you're back to depending on in the city, Rafa Mir, players that can score a goal here and there, but in the city has had his injury problems as well. There are a lot of limitations for Sevilla, just like there are for West Ham. So it's going to be a grind out sort of game over two legs in which the difference between the two teams isn't that much. And then it comes down to mentality, character, execution, fight. But while you're fighting and you're pushing and you're shoving and the mentality and the character, you have to execute. And I think that's where these teams are going to have an issue because neither one of them have proven that without these key players, that they can actually be a threat in the attack.
Miguel Antonio will throw his body around. We know that. Does Jerry Bowen come back from injury? And if he does, how, how successful and how effective can he be? His speed can be a problem for Sevilla. But Sevilla also have players on their knees and, cre and creative players, guys that can hurt you. It's just neither one of these teams have proven that they can score with any sort of consistency. Speaking of Jared Bowen, with doubts over Marcus Rashford's form and participation for England in the next international get-together, is Jared Bowen, assuming he's okay injury-wise, a good replacement for Marcus Rashford? Yeah, absolutely. And this comes from uh, merit. This comes from performance. It's not given to him and just presented to him. It is because this kid week in and week out shows you that he deserves an opportunity. And in terms of just the England makeup as a whole, the power and strength that Jared Bowen shows in the way that he runs, just think about for a second, if Harry Kane and him were playing up top in some sort of combination, will Harry Kane, as he likes to drop underneath and open up that space for Jared Bowen to get in behind? And even if Harry Kane stays, stays higher up the field, then Jared Bowen can take a wider position and you can count on him being willing to run in behind to test defenders, strength, powerful runner. There's a lot to like about his game. And above all, he's added productivity. He's added goals. He's added assists. And he's doing it every weekend and week out, as I just mentioned. He deserves an opportunity. And, yeah, I'll be looking forward to watching him with the English national team. It's been a while since you had your crystal ball out, but it's required here to decide. Is it the favorite Sevilla going through or the underdogs West Ham from this time? Uh, no bubbles here. Sevilla, <laughs> they advance. Yeah, I like me with Ham. I like, I like the story. I like Jared Bowen. I like, I like Declan Rice. I love him as a player, but I just don't see it. I think Sevilla right now is a team that in this competition, they know exactly what this is all about and they'll advance past West Ham. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.